Mobile, filled with busy sidewalks and thriving businesses. The Downtown Mobile Alliance is one step closer to making that vision a reality. The, uh, the organization brought the arts and architects together to reimagine Downtown Mobile. <music> In an event hosted by Downtown Mobile Alliance, a Grammy Award winning cellist, Yo Yo Ma, and an expert in urban planning, Andres Duani, traded ideas. They discussed what makes a city vibrant and unique. Yo Yo Ma is in town for a performance with the Mobile Symphony Orchestra. Duani and his team are here to help shape Downtown Mobile's future. My first impression in walking through Mobile downtown was that you don't have an urban problem, you've got a communications problem. I didn't know it was as beautiful along Dauphin Street and along historic areas as it is. The urban planning firm was called in to develop new zoning and development procedures for downtown Mobile. This type of planning takes imagining a new downtown to another level. If you just vision a downtown, if you just master plan and vision, and you don't calibrate your code to that vision, then you've essentially pulled the carpet out from under any investor. Downtown Alliance wants to liven up downtown Mobile, both for residents and investors. We hope is to develop a plan that will make downtown Mobile more walkable, more bikeable, more developer friendly. There are a lot of locked up, barred up, abandoned buildings in downtown Mobile. And though some may see them as an eyesore, this urban planning firm sees them as an opportunity. You have some really wonderful old warehouse buildings uh, clustered together, and that can become a very interesting uh, arts, uh, technology, a Soho kind of incubator. So as the experts trade ideas and go over plans and codes, you're encouraged to join the creative process and think of a more vibrant downtown mobile. I really enjoyed that. Not only are you encouraged, encouraged to think of ideas, but you're invited to share them. The urban planners will be in Mobile all week long.